We all know the shotguns are kind of garbage in this game, but is the underbarrel shotgun attachment better than them? Let's find out. This underbarrel shotgun doesn't really have the highest bar to pass. I mean, the Lockwood 680 is pretty decent, but I'm thinking that this might be better than the other shotguns in the game. But while we're testing that out, I decided to bring in the Bass B here, which is a marksman rifle. But our shotgun here has four shots already loaded into it and 16 reserve. And it one shot zombies at least in the tier one zone we're gonna have to see what happens later on but it seems pretty good so far and unlike the flamethrower underbarrel attachment it had no cons to it meaning that we can actually pick up ammo for it at least i'm assuming so where'd that ammo go did not let me pick it up let's see okay so the ammo on the ground does not refill the shotgun unfortunately so we'll have to go to munition boxes to get it do we get more ammo for it with a max ammo oh we do that's sweet oh and we get 20 reserve instead of just the 16 and let's see what happens when we pack a punch it so we get less ammo in the mag. That's weird. But I'm assuming it at least gets stronger. I hope. At least I hope so. It didn't seem like the flamethrower got much stronger. It just kind of seemed like uh, it could do decent damage to all zombies. But uh, this is still just dismantling them. So really quick, I'm going to do the spore control contract. That way I can just grind these camos out. And then after we'll go test this out in the tier two zone and try to find some elites to take it out on. We got another max ammo. Okay, so it does bring us up to 20 whenever we get a max ammo. It seems like whenever we refill our ammo somewhere, it only brings us to 16. So it's capable of having more ammo, but it just won't give it to us. But while I got all these zombies trained up, I want to see how many I can take out with one shotgun blast. Uh, just seemed like maybe three. Okay. Actually, that one was like four. So the spread's kind of decent on it. Another 250 kills the frost damage. We just need our jackrabbit kills now. And it'll be all good. I feel like the jackrabbit camo's got to be busted in this game. Because I'll get like 30 jackrabbit medals and not see the camo pop up at all. So I've been letting the zombies hit me in between each like 20 kills. Or actually each 30 kills because jackrabbits in this game are 30, but the camo only requires 20. This is the part where I start bitching and camo start popping up because I'm bitching. They wait for me to complain every time. There's actually no way I haven't hit the requirement by now. Oh, yep, there it is. See? Complain and obtain. That's my new motto. All right, let's get this contract done. Let's go get pack two. And I think I know what we can do for our elite. So we need to throw on our dead wire. And we're going to do part of the new Easter egg. I'm going to try to get some of the items for it. I don't think I can get them all in one game, especially like with how often it's been crashing. I'm a little scared to try to do that. But we need to find an ethereal orb and we need to take it out with dead wire. And that should give us our first item that we need. And then we need to upgrade that item. That way we can use it for the Easter egg. But while we're running through the tier two zone, what does this do against a tier two zombie still one shot some okay a pack a punch one weapon one shotting tier two zombies that's pretty good and not to mention we got an ethereal orb right here so if we start shooting this that'll turn gold and we just need to break it if the bastard would stop running away oh mimic i can promise you you don't want this smoke all right hold on let me reload and then i'll continue to give you the smoke Oh, I think I just teleported away. Damn it. Fucking Mimic, you distracted me. All right, we'll find another orb. Ain't no thing. All right, give me Pap 2. Thank you. Zombie, sit down or stand. Whichever one you prefer. As long as you stay the fuck away from me, I don't care. Oh, wait. Disciple, hold on. I need to test this on you. Disciples mainly have a, or usually have a lot of health. And this one's kind of tanking it. Almost dead. It just sucks how often I have to reload this with only four shots in it. Speed Cola is a must with this. But he's dead. Now we just need an orb to show up. Oh, here's one right here. I wonder if I can one-shot it with the shotgun. There's no way, right? I did a decent amount to it, I think. Oh, Mimic, come on. We talked about this, dude. There we go. Now we got our surveillance camera. We'll stow that away. Now we just need to find an ethereal rift. That's what we're looking for right there. The Aethergina. The Aethosy. We need to go into this other Ussy. The golden Aethosy. And it should drop something for us. Okay, let's follow this. Right into this building here, we have a purple eliminate contract. So give me that. And now we have to eliminate a disciple. Let me grab some ammo first to make sure we have all the shotgun shells we need. Wait, did it really not refill my ammo on this? All right, whatever. Let's try this out. Oh, it's got a full family of disciples. Uh-uh. None of that. We have to wait for our ammo cache to cool down to try it again. Maybe it didn't do it since I wasn't switched to the shotgun attachment. But what does this do against the main disciple, the HVT one? Oh, uh, it's pretty decent. Immediately stopped them from... Sucking the shit out of me. Now, come on. Give me ammo for it. Seven seconds remaining. Disciple, please. Please, disciple. Relax. Holy shit. There's so many zombies near that ammo cache. You guys need to fuck off for a second, all right? There we go. We got four extra bullets. 
The ammo cache is awful for this. We legitimately need max ammos and max ammos only. I guess we gotta just normally use our gun. That's unfortunate. At least it did a pretty decent chunk of their health for the meantime. Are these all HVTs actually? All but like one of them? And they all trying to suck me up? Damn, y'all need to take turns. There ain't enough meat to go around. I wonder if we kill the main one, if all the other ones will just die. Oh yeah. Genius. Thousand IQ play. And we get our golden security camera from that. Let's go. And speaking of let's go, let's exfil before this game crashes and I lose this item. And this will give us a chance to test out the new tier two exfils. Because apparently they've been buffed. Let's see how much they got buffed. Oh, we're getting a mangler right away. That's sick. Love seeing elites in the exfils. The zombies, I mean, there's an all right amount. It's a decent amount. And some disciples. This could be a good way to get some elite kills, actually. Now that the Outlast, the Tier 2 Outlast, or just all Outlasts in general have been nerfed. Because Tier 2 Outlast was mainly how I was getting all my Disciple and Mangler kills. This could be a good alternative. I guess you can't really grind it too much though, because there is a big delay in between X spills. But you can just call one in as you're going by. Maybe going to do another contract. Ooh, and it is a bit tougher now. Because the original reason that I liked the X spills so much before I started like using them to camo grind was because of the difficulty actually trying to leave. You just get swarmed by zombies. Now the elites kind of balance it out in terms of like damage. Let's get out of here. Let's go. That should give us gold on our Bass B now. For this game, we just need to get 300 kills while pack a punch. But before we pack a punch, we need to find an Aether Nest. And there's one right over here. Let me throw Brain Rot on our gun. And we just need to hop into here and shoot one of them. I choose this one. Now it's going to turn green for a bit. We just got to take out some of these zombies. Brain Rot should cover me for a second. And we got to open the cyst. Come on. There we go. And we got our pill bottle. So now once we get our 200 kills, we can come and do our bounty contract that goes along with it. Actually, we might just do it right after we finish this. Assuming we can find an Aether Rift. Where are all the Aethosis at? We just need one. Oh, there's one right here. Perfect. Same shit as last time. Hop through it. Look for the other colored one. There's a green one right here. Do we have enough height? Oh, come on. I opened my parachute the second I got into here. Bullshit. I wonder if I fucked it up for the whole game now. Because once you use the portal, they disappear. Let's, uh, let's hope we can just go through another one. Oh, wait, no, it's still here. Let's try again. One more time. Popped it immediately. Going right for it. What? Come on. This is bullshit. And the game knows it. Let me try it again. Spamming my parachute. Cut it right open. Come here. All right. What? Okay. All right, game. I see how it is. I'll go to a different one. Fine. Whatever. You win. All right, here's another one. Let's try again. Using it right away? Yeah, this is way easier to get. I probably shouldn't have said that before I get to it. Because I have been known to fumble. This should be good, though. Let's go. Now we got to go to this contract. And I'm assuming this one's going to be Mimics, right? Because the last one, we used dead wire and disciples are weak to dead wire and this one we use brain rot and mimics are weak to brain rot let's see if the math is math and looks like it yeah mimics this should be easy i'm just gonna run up and shotgun the head one all right which one to use the leader this one why don't you come on outside oh and look at the the reload with speed cola isn't even that much faster i mean every little bit helps but it's just a slow ass reload oh and i brain rotted one of them what happened your friends turning against you what a shame. Just wait for me to reload again. There you go. This thing is just so strong, but it's very handicapped by its like own slowness. The amount of ammo it gets, not being able to reload at a munition stations, and its reload speed being terrible. I don't know if the damage really offsets for it, but it sure as hell does more damage than any of the other like auto shotguns. Yeah, you get four bullets from this. Lame. Anyways, let's do a quick little spore contract, get our Zircon scale, and hopefully we'll be close to having enough to get pack a punch three, because I still want to try this out in a mega bomb. I feel like I've gotten 300 kills. Where's my camo? Come on, game. You're holding out on me. Oh, I think I'm a fucking idiot, actually. I've been sitting here trying to grind out Zircon skill, but I don't have all my battle rifles done. It literally just dawned on me. Well, at least uh, I think we have enough to get pack three, so we, we weren't doing it for nothing. Oh, we kind of were. We could have got pack three way faster if we just uh, went ahead and, you know, did bounties or, you know, some cargo delivery contracts. But you guys don't watch me for how smart I am, do you? Let's make our way over to pack a punch. Oh, there's a mega bomb right there. You stay there. You sit pretty. We'll be right back. Come on. Where's the machine? There we go. Let's try this out on a tier three zombie. Ooh, it almost fully killed a fully armored zombie in one shot. Well, let's not waste all of our ammo on just these zombies here. You mimics though, you can fuck off. And the mega bomb despawned. Why does this happen? It spawns in while I drive by, but when I come to fight it, nowhere to be found. Oh, there it is. Just a little bit shy. 
But we are getting swarmed by zombies. Holy shit, leave me alone. They were decoy 20 minutes ago, and now they're just going to it? Sentry gun? Take care of some of them. And Disciple, you especially need to fuck off. What's up, dude? Let's see how the shotgun does against you. Hold on. No, 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 no. No hitting me. Oh, it actually does pretty decent. Okay, I was about to throw a nade in its mouth just to shut it up. But I, I kind of want to see what the shotgun does against it, like, fully. We already got it to, like, half health. This thing absolutely destroys this guy. Okay, but he's destroying me. Good thing he can't swim, right? And the laser can't hit in the water. Dumbass. This is actually the way to fight him. This is sick, actually. What an easy way to farm kills on him. There goes ahead. Oh, too bad. We're almost out of ammo, though. And we need to self-revive. Because I didn't go underwater fast enough. Why don't you run away? You get back here. I'm not done with you. Zombies, you can get away, though. And eat a nade while you're at it. We got one bullet left. And we're out. And we're down. Holy shit. Actually, I have no self-revives left. Um, let's see if anybody's helpful. We're in G4. And I get a self-revive in... Not a self. Just a revive. Just a normal revive. In G4. There's a lot of people right over here. Let's see if any of them are, are nice. Well, like I said, this thing does crazy damage. Just expect to take some damage while you're spending the eight hours reloading it. Or running out of ammo with it. Oh, I think they're coming to help. Legends. Oh, here he comes. My savior. My hero. No! Oh! Holy shit! That mega abomination almost killed him. Oh, it regened all of its health while it was away. That's unfortunate. I think next time, if we do come in here with this... We need to come up with two weapons that have this attachment. Because one ain't doing it. Appreciate you, fellas. Oh, it made its way over here. And looks like they're still fighting it. Fuck it, I'll help out. Might as well. Let's finish the fight that we started. And if a zombie drops a, a max ammo, we'll be in the clear. Actually, it might just be good right here. Bars, dude. He's got a little more health left. There we go. You guys take all those points. I don't need them. All right, well, we still got our Dark Aether Vicodin. So uh, let's go ahead and exfil before we crash and lose it. I'm not satisfied with how our last Mega Abomination fight went. I hopped into another game. I brought in two weapons with the shotgun underbarrel attachment. And we're going to give it another try. But unfortunately, I already used my speed cola schematic. So uh, we might be in a bit of trouble here reloading. Oh, please don't knock me. We really don't need that right now. Oh, come on. I don't think this is doing as much as before because I can only get this up to rare rarity or the green rarity. I think it's like uncommon or something. So it's not doing nearly as much. And the stipple, you're not helping out, pal. Oh, this is a pain in the ass, dude. Oh, fuck. Maybe it was Deadshot that was helping out earlier. It's not that we don't have it. We're not doing anything. You know what? Fuck these guys. I have a dead bolt turret circuit. Don't go for the mega abomination. You leave him alone. Go for the zombies instead. All right, well, I took him out anyways. I'll take that refined crystal as my reward. And I am now out of self-revives after this last one. But you know what? A for effort. I am grading it myself, and I say we passed. Well, I guess the least we can do is pay our respects. And let's see if we get a good crystal to get out with. Nope, we get elemental pop. Actually, probably should have just stowed it. Accidentally equipped it, but I'm out of here. So is the shotgun attachment better than normal shotguns? Yeah. Is it very practical? Not really. Just the low amount of ammo it has on top of its slow reload and no way to really like remedy that without speed cola. And even with speed cola, it's not that fast. On top of the only like real way to get ammo for it is by getting max ammos. Unless you're just going to go to like those ammo stands and just go back and forth between a few of them. You're not really going to fill up on ammo on it very reliably, but it deals some pretty crazy damage. So if you got an extra attachment slot on one of your weapons and you can put it on there might as well throw it on and you know maybe you can take out some zombies a little bit easier with it but that's all i got for you guys today thank you for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you in the next one later